six double nine. Harrison Carter's eighteen and a member of the UK Youth Parliament. Morning, Harrison. Good morning, Toby. Uh, we're hearing these um, figures today in Healy. Nearly twenty percent of kids will leave school with no qualifications whatsoever. Why do you think that is, Harrison? Well, I think I recognise, and I think most people recognise, um, this is as a result of successive governments not doing as much as they can to raise aspirations. But at the moment, the problem here is that the current government aren't really learning from the mistakes of the past. And so when we see, you know, an end to EMA, an increase in tuition fees and really a reduction per pupil of resources to them, this is only going to act not to make the system better for all, but the situation many face worse through, through education. So you think that, do you think that if, if kids in Healy currently aren't bothered too much about qualifications, the fact that they might have to pay 9,000 a year for university is going to make it even worse? Well, I think, yeah, I think that's the case. But also, we shouldn't uh, really criticise the schools, I don't think. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm both assured and aware of the fantastic work uh, these schools do in raising achievement, but also offering enrichment activities and life-changing experience for many young people. The problem here, although we, we have a local perspective on it with the figures out today, the problem is of national importance. And there's really a disparity between what many people believe should be done by government and what they're currently doing uh, with education in their current agenda. To be fair, let, let's not let everybody off too easily. I mean, I know people will say, oh, we can't blame the schools, they can only work with what they've got, but let's face it, if, we, if we're frank, isn't it the fact that a school exists to educate the people, kids? Mm. And if it's not educating them enough to such a degree that everybody's got qualifications, then the school's not doing its job. Well, I think the figures could be quite misleading in the sense that vocational qualifications aren't really accredited for. So we may have kids doing more vocational qualifications, but at the end of the day, they're not receiving a, an accreditation for it. That's not, there's no sort of formal certificate for that. And perhaps this is where the government needs to look into. It needs to recognise that not many kids are prepared to or, or willing or perhaps can uh, do sort of the formal GCSE A level university, but that they should have some other opportunities, some other doors open to them. And at the moment, uh, that's not happening. That's not the case. Suggestion earlier on from a uh, a, a doctor, a lecturer up at Sheffield, Hallam, uh, sorry, up at Sheffield University, yep. who indeed lectured in education, who said that maybe we're placing too much emphasis on qualifications. Maybe, yeah. yeah. He used the um, he used the point, and uh, I, I reiterate what he said. He's not denigrating any job here, but he said we've got call centres full of people with degrees. Well, I, I would completely agree with what he's saying. Um, the issue, as I've said, isn't to do with schools. I'm not sure even if the issue is necessarily to do with certain areas. It's really to do about people taking some social action themselves and a bit of responsibility, being aware of the fact that some people aren't going to do, do as well. And, you know, it's about providing funding for youth centres and providing funding uh, for adult night classes and generally just preparing anybody for any age uh, to enter higher education if they want to. I mean, that, that's the problem here. Harrison, thanks very much indeed. Uh, what do you think? Does where you come from hold you back? James from...